Hey everybody! So I'm here home today, just like everybody else. There's a order of shelter at home here in New York and I'm sure in other places as well. So most of the time I go out to get my cocktails, but this gives me a chance to practice some new ones. So I kind of looked in the fridge and saw what I had. Um, so I have, uh, so actually I'm gonna start off by making a gin gimlet. I went to a dinner party the other night and someone made me one. I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is really good. So I kind of got some ideas and threw some things together. So we're gonna start with gin. So gimlet is basically two parts gin to a part of, or half, um, of uh, rose lime juice, which you, if anybody knows is pretty sweet. It's already sweetened, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So we'll start with shaker, ice, put some in there, and then start with two ounces of gin. Use your favorite one. I just picked this up a while ago. Uh, people are, of course, with other ones. Two ounces, I like my little jigger or my uh, cup. This is a an ounce shot cup. Okay, so that's that part. And what's funny is I just picked this shaker up as well. I noticed I didn't have a lot of stuff, but uh, this actually has the measurement on there, which is kind of cool. So there's the gin part. I've already squeezed some limes. This is a handy tool. I use this a lot. I'll just show you, as I'm sure you, if you, everyone knows how, unless you have a big press like in the restaurants, but since you don't, just so you know, this is all fresh. So you, I do that and turn it over, check and make sure you get everything out there. No waste in these times. Okay, so I'm gonna put three quarters of this in there and it's the marker right there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more, this couple of juice. So it's a kind of a Japanese lime, but it's got a melon flavor to it. So check it out. I just happen to have it, but if you don't have it, just stick with lime and maybe go to an ounce. I like mine a little tartar. Uh, if you don't like it as tart, then go a little less. This one's not so tart, so it's more on the sweet and fragrant side. So we're gonna add a little bit like a quarter of an ounce into there. And then we have to sweeten this up. So I've got simple syrup here that I've made, probably about a quarter ounce. I mean, I can measure it, but I'm not going to. Just there, it depends on how sweet you like it. And there you go. And then now we're gonna shake that up and make sure it's, that's all good. And then I can't forget, because normally I don't have these, normally use you know, the pint glass stuff, but that into, I don't lose the liquid. Shake it up really good. And then, I'm actually gonna take, I have these cucumber ribbons, I had some. I'm gonna squeeze it a little, get some of that flavor out there. I'll put two in there just for flavor. So you just use a vegetable peel, like a Y peeler. Put that in there. You should go with the gin. Some gins actually have more botanicals that have a cucumber flavor to it, which is kind of nice. Just like that. Shake the rest of that out. Little lime there. Throw some in there as well. I'll just go like this. And so we're gonna do that. Cheers. Everyone out there, stay safe. Here's to you.